Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 16th, 2020. So yesterday, what an interesting day we had. We had bullishness really uh, predominantly throughout the day, pushing, 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 pushing. And then at the end of the day, we had some very interesting volatility. And that volatility came in uh, some strong whips. Um, as you can see throughout the day, we whipped down and whipped down. As a matter of fact, it kind of required that last minute saving surge by the bulls to recover 29,000 before the close. So a little bit of back and forth going on here. And what it looks like is that's what is happening here. It would seem that the bears are starting to probe just a little bit up here, starting to probe the weaknesses to see if there are any weaknesses for that potential attack. So right now, Dow um, ended up closing the day with a very bullish looking chart, holding price support in there. We have a bullish candle here. Everything is looking good. And this morning, with just this unbelievable relentlessness, we have a big gap up suggested here in the Dow, gapping back up to probably a new record high this morning if things continue to hold this way. And there's a few things that could, you know, make that stumble. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, pretty darn interesting. Now, the other thing that I think is really interesting in this and actually giving me just a little bit of a concern that we are caught up in some um, over exuberance, maybe, um, is because we have Asian markets really struggled yesterday um, after signing of the trade deal. Very tepid reaction. There just wasn't much going on there. Um, they closed mixed and mostly higher, but it was just struggling around the flat line most of the night. Then we had um, we have European markets are all red. They're red across the board with a very tepid reaction to the signing of the trade deal. Um, and then here we have this rampant bullishness in the U.S. market. So that makes me just a little bit concerned. And what I would, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to caution everyone to be careful not to chase into this morning open. It's entirely possible we can get that big gap up open and then see no follow through to that, creating um, the possibility of a pop and drop. And that's where we gap up, we gap up, and then sellers come in after that. We'll want to watch for that carefully. Now, the way I do that is I look at a short-term chart. I will watch a intraday chart. So for example, if this were um, the open right in here where we gapped up, I'm going to watch that carefully, maybe for that pullback, and then watch for those buyers to step in before I get too overly excited about um, this morning's gap up. So watch that carefully. Just make sure that that there's some follow through buying. We don't want to jump in or chase right in when the bears are starting to probe here just a little bit for weaknesses, jump right in um, and, and end up catching the exact high. So watch that close. And with the with the other markets around the world just showing that real tepidness, it, it's kind of interesting to me that we're so, showing such relentless bullishness this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very relentlessly bullish. No pushback here. Um, they had a little bit of struggle here um, intraday yesterday, as you can see on a 15-minute chart. We just had a little throwing back and forth. And then right there at the end of the day, we get that rush back in to close the market positive um, as uh, dark pools and things like that started to come into the market trying to save um, save the day. So very, very strong um, when you look at that market here at the end of the day, looking very bullish overall, holding up okay in here and now gapping to a new record high this morning. It looks like that possibility exists. So once again, just uh, strong, strong bullishness here in the market. Let's take a look at the cues. 
the relentless bullishness here started to show a little bit of few chinks in the armor here we had a little bit of a pullback and and um, the nasdaq closing just a slight bit lower here um, as you can see but this morning we're looking at a gap up open we're trying to reach on up here uh, maybe stretching out to try and break some new records um, in the chart so little bit of squishiness here in the Nasdaq but the overall trend very 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 bullish there shows no signs here of breaking the trend in any way shape or form if we look at a short-term chart here on the 15 minute you can see that little bit of weakness that showed up here and that failure right in here that lower high failure creating that little bit of a downtrend and then right there at the end of the day we get that shove back up trying to recover that but it just wasn't quite enough in the nasdaq to get it done like it did in uh, the diamonds and the spy so watch that closely today just in case some of that weakness does come back after the open let's take a look at iwm iwm pushing on higher here so iwm participating with the market found some some price support right there off of that uh, level we were worried about that one earlier not being able to find that price support uh, or hold that price support but they ended up doing it and now we're moving up here to test price resistance in the chart here on IWM so IWM starting to participate with the market and it is also gapping up this morning to um, a new high no new record highs or anything like that but a new high on the day uh gapping up this morning with this um uh, just tremendous bullishness that's going on in the market let's take a look at the vix sorry about that i couldn't get my fingers to do the job this morning the VIX this um, yesterday had kind of an interesting look to it. Um, we were bouncing around with a little bit of selling that happened in there. In fact, if we look at a short term chart of the VIX, notice we had a big spike here in the VIX when that selling came in all of a sudden those little probes and attacks but they defended that very very well pushing it back down so what we have right now in the VIX is we have whoops we have a market that is continuing to uh, follow this downtrend there's just no fear showing up here in any significant way of the market um, once again i i continue to mention this that as we push down and continue to stay down in here i'm worried about complacency and that complacency um, occurs when everyone just gets into this mode thinking that the market will never turn south again and that's what creates these big old fear spikes that that come in when all of a sudden it does uh, turn over and those bears come back to play so watch that close but right now there's no particular concern here at all um, except for that little bit of complacency we just have to be on our toes and watching that closely right now bulls are clearly in control trends are clearly bullish and vix is showing virtually no fear here in the market let's take a look at t21 22. Now, interestingly enough, T2122 had a little bit of a dip yesterday, even though we were pushing new highs. Now, what that tells me is that the breadth of the market is pretty weak. Um, while we have very key sector stocks or key stocks being pushed up, hitting those new records, we had the majority of stocks showing some struggle there at the end of the day. So what we want to do is just be a little bit careful careful with that. Now, T2122 is showing us that we have plenty of upside room for this move this morning. So don't get the idea that I'm suggesting that we're just right at a top and we must fail. I, I'm not saying that at all. There's just reason out there to be very watchful and um, just uh, removing that emotion that fear of missing out removing that emotion and just looking at the technicals of the chart so be be watchful of that so we have plenty of upside room here this morning I would with this gap up 
uh, that we're looking at this morning. I'd be kind of surprised to see if we don't stretch right up into here, um, somewhere in this area today in T2122. So let's watch that carefully. Um, that's where we have seen pullbacks before, and we just want to pay attention to that. Now, it's entirely possible we can stretch right on through that area, moving straight on up into this area. You can see we've done that before as well. And as we're getting closer and closer to Friday, I really get the idea that um, institutions are just going to relentlessly um, hang on to this trend um, heading into the weekend and we may not get any kind of a pullback or anything until maybe next week they just don't want to slip at all um, they're firing on all cylinders anytime we get any kind of a um, a bearish push they rush in and and support that so watch this carefully um, we're just in that place where um, those changes can occur and we just have to be on our toes let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today and I think we've got we've got a bunch on the economic calendar today that could move the market around now I don't I don't think any of the consensus estimates are suggesting um, anything particularly nasty. So we'll want to keep an eye on all of these, but right now I don't see anything um, in those estimates that would say we're going to get a big surprise. However, we do have jobless claims, we have Philly Fed, we have retail sales. Now I think this retail sales is going to be a, a pretty important number. If that retail sales number continues to hold up strong, we could be in really good shape here for the market for the next couple of days um, on that number. Let's watch that closely. However, if it starts to show a little bit of weakness in there, we could see the market falter or maybe stumble just a little bit. So watch that close. And the only reason I suggest that is uh, the target numbers that came out yesterday showing a major weakness in toy sales over the holiday if that starts to reflect in that um, retail sales we could see that little softening coming into the market then we have import export prices business inventories housing market index we have the natural gas report I don't expect that one to move the market at all and then later in the day we have Treasury International and the Fed balance sheet so a busy day on the economic ca calendar on the earnings calendar, we have several key um, reports coming in on that earnings calendar today. Um, one of those being Morgan Stanley. Uh, Stanley Morgan Stanley reported blowout earnings uh, this morning and gapping higher here this morning. So Morgan Stanley helping the market here. How about BK? Uh, BK, Bank of New York, gapping down. Uh, looks like they have disappointed a little bit on their earnings. Not much, but a little bit bit. Um, SCHW Schwab is um, um, reporting today and I can't see, they may be, I can't see that they've reported here yet. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, um, Schwab um, is another one of those reports today. PBCT. Uh, People's United reporting today. Um, no report on that as of now. You'll want to keep an eye on that chart. PPG reporting this morning. You can see reporting a gap down this morning. And TSM. Those are what I consider to be probably the most notable for today to watch. So keep an eye on these stocks um, as we progress throughout the day and those reports continue to come in. Overall, there's about 29 companies reporting earnings today, but those are kind of the key ones that I wanted to point out today. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and on also click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're to remove all of the hype, all of the, um, all of the emotion and just really look at the indexes themselves. Look at the price action themselves and try to um, do a better job of how we approach the market for the day. Thinking clearly rather than rushing in based on any emotion. And if you guys find this to be helpful, 
please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment that helps continue to grow this channel and we reach out um, and um, help other people um, with this kind of information so thank you everyone who does do that um, gotta tell you there was uh, yesterday's video there was such an amazing comment um, by someone by the name of Paul um, and just a shout out to you Paul thank you so much that truly humbling comment um, you guys just can't know how much that means to me so thank you very much um, you guys are the best let's take a look at a few stocks setting up and remember that every time I show a stock in these videos that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it's just simply something to keep an eye on to watch maybe put on a watch list evaluate for yourself to make sure that is a trade that actually works for you um, one stock that I looked at yesterday that I really like the pattern now I'll tell you this doesn't have good options um, in it for 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 options Trading, but I got to tell you, I really like this pattern. Big strong gap up, and then this nice tight consolidation. Now, what that tight consolidation is telling me is there's really no one wanting to sell this after that big move. And so, as this continues to consolidate and move over toward its trend, I want to be watching this for that next opportunity. Notice how LW goes through these long consolidating periods, sliding over toward the trend, and then pow, sliding over toward the trend and then moving. So we wanna watch this close if that slides over toward that trend, that opportunity to move on up. And um, you know, being up here in the 90s, the next target may be up there around $100. So keep an eye on that chart. I'm really liking the chart in AMD as well. AMD um, has just moved up really uh, strongly. They've got a great story with their chipset that they have. And notice that they have broken out over here they broke out of highs of 2000 all-time highs here in AMD and as you can see consolidating that move nice and tight consolidation in here once again showing no one really wants to sell this stock so as this moves toward this trend I'm watching this pretty closely uh, for that alert right there to uh, trigger me into a trade so I'm watching that pretty closely AMD looking very strong trend is looking great keep an eye on that chart Chart. Um, a chart that I brought up the other day, ANF. ANF made a move here, popped through this resistance. Now, ANF, Abercrombie is not one of those that, um, you know, retail is just not one of my favorite places to trade. But Abercrombie popping through that resistance. Now, what we want to see up here is this holds in this area. If we can get that to hold in here. Now, don't be too surprised if this happens to consolidate or pull back into here a little bit before that opportunity for it to go up. It, it likes to follow this trend. So watch ANF closely. If that can hold in this area, consolidate that move, there may be that opportunity for that next upside coming in the chart. Let's take a look at OSTK. OSTK was a stock that we traded the other day in right way options. It popped nicely and just took off. Um, ran up here and hit resistance, bam. I mean, just almost to the penny, hit resistance and pulled back. So OSTK is now pulling back into this support area. What I want to do is watch OSTK for this little rest in here. If that can hold on to this trend, I want to watch for that little consolidating move in there and that opportunity to maybe catch more upside in OSTK. Looking pretty good overall. Nice little pullback. Let's watch that closely. Hey, for everyone who has been following following me on CGC. Holy moly, what a great run that's been on CGC. Now CGC up here testing resistance areas in this chart. I am actually still holding half of my CGC position that I purchased over in here. And I'm watching this trade pretty closely. Um, if this can rest, consolidate, pull back, whatever it needs to do in here, um, hold this little area up in here of support. I would be watching for that next opportunity to the upside. Cannabis stocks um, can be very, very volatile as you as we've seen here lately. And um, 
uh, right now we're just getting this nice move back into these cannabis stocks. So keep an eye on the that trade. Stocks like TLRY, um, you can see, have shot up so much the last couple of days that I would expect some kind of a pull back a rest a consolidation of some kind so be careful of those don't chase into them wait for the next entry into the trade make the trade come to you so keep a close eye on those positions um, other stocks out there there's just tons of other stocks that just look really really good Etsy was one that we were in we closed this trade but I really like this chart and what's going on in this chart so any rest or pullback or consolidation in here if this just rests and comes back into that trend watch for that opportunity for that next move up to maybe fill the gap and then break on out Etsy trying to show some strength here and um, any pullback or just a consolidation over the trend can be just as good so watch that closely Etsy might be one that you want to have on your list and paying attention to so there's a few stocks there's tons and tons of stocks to look at right now more than I could possibly cover um, in the video but I want everyone to understand the bulls are definitely in control but there is reason to just be a little bit watchful be careful not to over trade and be careful not to chase one of the things we don't want to do is chase a stock that's made its move already we want to wait for that next entry into the trade so with that everyone I want to wish you all the very very best today I want to wish you great profits once again click that sub subscribe button and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning have a great day everyone